An 18 year old woman went to the ER after experiencing stabbing pains in her chest, difficulty breathing. You're not going to believe what doctors think caused it. The woman developed respiratory distress after smoking e-cigarettes for only three weeks, arrived at the hospital, started going into severe respiratory failure, ended up going on a ventilator to help her breathe, ended up needing chest tubes to drain some of the excess, excess fluid that had developed in her, her chest cavity. Really sick, and docs feel like it was due to hypersensitivity pneumonitis, where sometimes you'll inhale certain things. And for lack of a better term, it is toxic. And your immune response reacts, and your lungs become filled with everything from fluid, in this case, severely inflamed, could have died if not at the hospital. The fact that that e-cigs were thought to be to blame, I think is, a, is another red flag to me when it comes to e-cigarettes. Yeah, absolutely, and I think that everybody's kind of touting these because they don't have the tobacco and they don't have the smoke, but they still have a ton of chemicals that you will inhale. And I think this is really concerning because this was an 18-year-old mm -hmm. young woman. She was a high school student. And statistically, the rate of use of these e-cigarettes from 2011 to 2015 went up 900% in teenagers. So when you think about the risks we're now exposing people to, I think you have to keep this in mind and keep this as a risk in mind, for sure. And it also highlights one other thing, which is if you have inhaled something that's new for you and you start to develop this type of reaction where you're having difficulty breathing, coughing, wheezing. and chest pain, wheezing, go get it checked out. Luckily, she was put on steroids and was able to be weaned from the vent, had a good recovery. But hypersensitivity to pneumonitis, it, it doesn't just happen from things like this. Anyone who's ever been in a particular situation and inhaled something, then for the next few days, they've had coughing and, and some, it's like there's something in your chest. We can have a reaction to a lot of different things. So if you get to this point, please go get it checked out. And e-cigs, remember, these are not safe for any of us. These are not what they're touted to be. They're the, they are touted to be this wonderful replacement for cigarettes, but buyer beware.